Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Another beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies. Uh, partly cloudy. We might get some rain right now. I hope not. Some drops already. Um, yeah, we're going to be heading over to Mike's real quick. Heading over to Torque. Give you guys a nice little walkthrough of the bike first. Bam, bam, bam. We're switching a few things up. New floorboards coming within a few weeks, by the way. New floorboards and uh, passenger pegs. Swi switching all that out. And uh, other stuff. Um, also, I went ahead and I ordered the triple tree from um, RLNS. So we're going to be cleaning this up. So that's coming in. Uh, the triple tree, we're going to get rid of all this crazy stuff here. And we got to order the new bar. Um, I know you guys saw my other video and I was speaking about switches to thrashing supply. Um, but I changed my mind. I'm going to keep my setup because, I mean, I, I, I really like the setup. What I really don't like is all this crap right here, which we're going to clean up. And what I really don't like is this bar because it's like a, a flat bar. Um, low bend. Um, but I'm going to fix that with the, with the mid bend bar that we're going to get from also from Arlen S. So that's going to fix all the issues that I don't like about this bike. Um, anyways, let's talk about today's discussion, which is why I kept my Road Glide over my other bikes. You guys already know I sold my Lowrider S. I also sold my FXR. And um, everyone's surprised because when it came down to selling all those bikes, if I had to get rid of everything, a lot of people thought that I would keep the Lowrider S and not the Road Glide. Um, but I, I needed something that I was going to be able to use all around. Um, you know, if, if I wanted to go out of town, out of state, this is the perfect bike for that, man. This is the bike that I'm able to do everything with. Long distance. This bike basically checked off all the, all the boxes for me, so... I mean, I, I'm, I'm not a long distance guy. Like, I don't really do miles like that. You guys know that. I'm not here trying to pretend to be someone who I'm not, right? So, I, I don't really do long distance miles. I did uh, New Hampshire last year. That was a six hour ride. And I'm probably gonna do Milwaukee this year. That's a 12 hour ride. Besides that, I stay within Jersey, PA, Connecticut, New York, the tri-state area. So that was one box right there. I checked off. I'm able to, if I wanted to go long distance, I'd be able to be real comfortable on this bike. Um, another box is that I, I love music, man. I really love music. I'm always having my music on. Obviously not on camera because YouTube, but I, I love having my music playing right now. What do I got playing right now? I got some corridos. Um, so I love my Mexican music, man. So... Anytime I'm not filming, I'm on this bike, I got the music blasting. That, that's the one thing. I love the navigation right here. I love having, having access to that when it's right in my face. I'm able to navigate throughout this whole screen and look at a bunch of different things. Tire pressure and this and that. Everything is right here. Um, that checked off into the box. Another big box was the big shark nose fairing that's on this bike right now. It protects me from all the wind coming protects me from a lot of things I, I love i love that i love having a fairing always always that's just i love bikes with fairings so that was another box um another thing that it just checked off was storage so obviously you guys know this being a road glide you got bags on the back um yes uh on my road glide i had um the leather pro bags they actually fit around 15 percent more uh than than what these bags right here fit so i mean yes i have bags on them but i mean th these come on the bike already but i gotta say i, I kind of I, I i do love those leather pro bags and at times i wish i had them on this bike because they they just look awesome they look awesome and they uh i mean they're, they're, they're great to they do justice now we're in what 2023 of course um right now like what what's the most popping bike man what's the most popular bike obviously the low rider s low rider st and the rogue life the rogue life right now with king of the baggers in the last few years kicking off um has kind of triggered everyone to look over the street glide and get a rogue glide instead 
it's uh it's a beautiful bike man and even people who didn't like the road glide before and only like street glides are buying road glide so it's a hot bike to have um it's a beautiful bike another thing that is checked off for me was just uh the customizations i can still to his bike i'm still far away from where i want to be uh with a the bike there's some tons there's a ton of things that i still want to do to it um and even if i was done with the bike there's still another route which i could take the bike and it's just endless man it's just it's endless the bills with this Oof, you hear that <laughs> it sounds so good we'll uh open her up here real quick Sounds great. So she's perfect for highway miles, but she's also perfect for around the town. Yes, these bikes are really heavy, close to 900 pounds, and yes, they are a little hard to maneuver when you're, let's say, the bike is in your garage and you try to move it around or whatever. But you know what? These bikes are actually pretty easy to maneuver around town. I mean, sometimes you hear people say, "Oh, these bikes are just too heavy to be." riding around and blah 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 it's like yeah they're heavy but if you know how to ride them they're pretty easy to maneuver around man pretty pretty easy and they're fun they're not the fun <laughs> I gotta say, my uh, my lowrider S, I love that bike. I really, really, really love that bike, man. I do I miss it sometimes? Yes. Do I wish I would have kept it? Yes. But it is what it is. Um, everything that I was able to do on that bike, I'm able to do on this bike. So at the end of the day, it comes down to that. Like if if I wasn't able to do something with this bike that I was able to do with the other ones then that would have been a little that, 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 that's a different story you know but there is nothing that those other bikes do or did that make it better than this bike or or, or whatever i mean this bike here isn't paid off yet so i i still owe a good chunk on it um i'm not rich i pay my stuff like the regular joe out there on a month to month basis but the, the Lowrider S, I was able to sell it and, you know, get some, get a good chunk of change back. So that also had a, a lot to do with with uh, with my choice as well. Um, but when it all came down to it, it all came down to me having the perfect bike for what I need it right now and what I'm going to need it for for the next year or two to come. This bike here checked everything off for me and I'm super happy with it. Like I said, there's a few things right now that we're gonna change, but we're, we're gonna be changing the look of this bike little by little. We're gonna be changing parts around. Um, and it's just because, you know, obviously sometimes you, you put on parts and you get over them or you find something else that you might like better. That's pretty much it. Now, th there's there's one thing that kind of stands out with the low rider estimate was that I just finished putting the uh, stage three on it and that bike felt amazing man the performance on that bike the power it had the torque it was wow it was it it, it sounded beautiful it performed great it, yeah yeah <laughs> that that's what i miss about that bike now the fxr um i had it for a little while i rode it around quite a few times i didn't spend too much time with that bike to uh say hey I, I missed this from here or not that bike was more of uh i don't know what what it was it, i don't know how to explain it it was just like one of those purchases where it's like this is the type of bike that i've always wanted i'm able to get it so i'm gonna get it and it was one of those one of those dream bikes you know um hopefully one day i'll have another fxr one day what else? I mean, for now, we're doing some performance parts to this bike. Uh, hopefully, that's coming. We'll see what we do. But the bike runs really good for now. Performs great. 
And like I said before, it does what I need it to do. We're almost at the torque shop. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to pull it into the torque shop and um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Drop your thoughts and your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about my decision. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.